Blessed by nature, China has an advantage in offshore wind power because its coastline is 18,000 kilometers long and its available sea area of over 3 million square kilometers. Focused and large-scale development can really improve the efficiency of sea resources while cutting down on operation costs and the build-up of projects. Please give a warm welcome for James Chow. I'm James Chow, host of The China Current, with a glimpse into tomorrow's world and stories about the human experience everywhere. The offshore landscape is largely found in Guangdong, Fujian, as well as other provinces. Among these is the grid-connected transmission project in Jiangsu that is key to the future. In operation but yet to hit optimal capacity, the project will eventually be able to deliver 30 billion kilowatt hours of electricity. This will be directed to the Yangtze River Delta region, meeting the basic annual power demand for a huge population. At 350 kilometers long, it runs between north and south and within Jiangsu province from Yancheng to Nantong. The huge number of windmills here, substations and double transmission lines form a cluster of offshore wind power generation. The installed capacity of the entire project is more than 10 million kilowatts, ranking first in scale in China. Jiangsu has also become the second place in the world after the UK to enjoy an installed capacity of offshore wind power exceeding 10 million kilowatts. While offshore wind turbines are easier to build, Chinese industry experts are escalating the challenge of moving wind power generation into the deep sea to open up more space for development. The farthest offshore wind power project is located in Dafeng, Jiangsu province, with a water depth of 7.5 to 21 meters, just 80 kilometers from the coast. This project is equipped with a total of 38 4.5 megawatt and 20 6.45 megawatt wind turbines. The offshore farm here shatters a barrier that circumvents the bottleneck of long-distance AC power transmission, allowing wind power generation projects to expand to deep sea areas. But developing deep sea wind energy requires wind turbines that are able to withstand typhoons and other extreme weather conditions at sea. The world's first typhoon-resistant floating offshore wind turbines are found in Guangdong province, where farms began generating electricity at the end of 2021. Its innovative design is based on extreme wave flows that only happen once in every 50 years and is therefore able to resist intense typhoons. The height of the fan is equivalent to the height of a 37-storey building, and the diameter of the impeller is 158 metres, which is roughly the width of three Boeing 747s when you line them up side by side. Many countries and in-country regions like Jiangsu and Guangdong continue to actively explore floating wind power technology, and what we're seeing evolve on farms in China have emerged as an important benchmark in the global push for progress. I'm James Chow, host of The China Current, bringing you on a journey of emotions.